What's up? I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Anyway, you guys keep sending me this video, right? Of a uh, Ryan Upchurch hater. This dude um seems a little bit just out there. He just yeah. He seemed real Kramer from Seinfeld like. A little, little bit on you know on the other side of the cuckoo's nest. Blue over there, actually. Right next to Jack Nicholson. Anyway, I digress. This is not going to be a reaction. I am going to do a reaction stream later on. Go and make sure you subscribe to my live stream channel. Um, but this is just going to be audio because I don't want to give this guy any kind of clout in any way, shape, or form. I don't think people realize that when they send me people's videos that like if I talk about them or say their names or even right now, me even paying attention to this person without saying a name is going to get them some kind of boost in engagement. And that's what they want. Right. I listened to a little bit of it and they were screaming for attention. Why won't you look at me? Why won't up church? Look at me. They stole subs. Whoa. Whoa. Um, but yeah, they're going to be speaking on a few things. They're going to be talking crap about Upchurch, uh, his family situations, which I have not covered. Right. Um, I think maybe when it first happened, I did a video speaking on it, hoping for the best. Right. But I've, I try not to dive into to that type of stuff. Right. Um, but we're going to be covering, I guess, today of me analyzing this nasty loser speaking on up church his family as well as the Kali rodney case so let's get into it make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff check out my live stream channel right and also while i'm at it check out my reaction channel right bxb spoil reacts it should be on all my home pages no matter what channel you're watching this on go to that and subscribe because i'm about to start going crazy with the reactions i just dropped like maybe 13 reactions on there this morning they were all music ones they were all music ones but i'm gonna do more than just music man i'm about to start doing a whole bunch of different types of reactions that's based on what you guys want to see so make sure y'all making those suggestions man and if you want to do a donation reaction which gets it done like asap you can do that. There is no set limit, man, for how much you got to donate. Someone asked me that recently. They wanted me to review um some some song. And it's like, oh, what's the limit? I was like, it's no limit. You know what I mean? You just don't do me dirty. Like 10 cents. That's crazy. For real? I'm a, I'm a 10 cents how? Are you going to treat me like that? That's crazy. All right, let's get into this audio, man. Hear what this this loser got to say. Hold on, can you guys hear the audio? Yep, good thing I had to check it. You know how many times I did that this week? Let's definitely slow it down too as well. I know y'all ain't trying to hear this stuff double speed like I be listening to it. All right, I'm gonna give you some harsh realities about YouTube and what's really going Man, on. Man, you know, get, get to the point. Come on, get to the point. I'll tell you why that is. It's because they're really weak on their own. They're super weak on their own. Ryan Upchurch knows I'm kicking his ass in this thing, this little war we're having. This thing is crazy. Um, someone asked, do I cover Ren? Yeah, from time to time. From time to time, I cover Ren. Uh, check that out on my channel. Having. And so now he's BXB Spoy Extra as well as BXB Spoy Reacts. Reaching out for help because he can't. And I got a few Ren video essays on my main channel, like a biography, stuff like that. Good on his own. He needs Chris from Harsh Reality. And I'm going to give you some harsh realities about both of them right now. First of all, let's take a I'm quick look in my damn chair. at Ryan Upchurch, the guy that Chris from Harsh Reality wants you to believe is the smartest guy and is going to get you the truth on the Kylie Rodney case. Let's just take a quick look at Ryan Upchurch just for one second. <laughs> look at this guy. Is a multi the racist. What are you dipping on over there, buddy? <laughs> it's crazy. So he's just taking random clips of Upchurch. Someone in the chat asked, uh, who is this guy we listening to? I'm not saying their name. And if anyone knows, please, 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 please. Do not say their name in chat. 
I am not giving clout chasers who say disrespectful, disgusting things about Upchurch any kind of attention to where they can receive any kind of boost and engagement. Let's never say their name. Let's give them a nickname, right? Like, let's call them loser, right? Let's call them desperate for attention. You know, desperate for attention, seeking ass hope. Let's call him that, man. Let's call him that. Right? Don't please don't say this loser's name. He don't need no publicity over here. Oh, wow. Does up church the redneck really give a fang fuck? Gang, you only have day. 37 subscribers? <laughs> but does he do do they think it's funny when when someone he's just taking random clips of up church? That's corny. Alright, now this in this part, he takes uh some footage of up church's father, I believe. This is what they're saying. I don't know. I've never seen his father. I don't, I don't know if this is actually his pops. If it is, his father is about to say some disgusting stuff, bro. His father is about to say some nasty stuff. This is nasty. This is super nasty for someone to talk about their family like that. It's crazy. See that you're high as fuck. Anybody that's been around dope for a little bit can look at you and tell... It's your own dope. And this is a rant, dude. I'm just, I'm at work. I'm tired of fucking getting all the text. And the text to me, I can handle because it's just weak minded punks that think they know something that they don't fucking know. You come out of that courthouse waving that blank piece of fucking paper. Boys. You're at a courthouse that you don't even go to for something like that. Saying if the buck and bobcat back ain't back in two hours, somebody's going to jail. And I know where it's at. You know how fucking childish you look doing that fucking shit? You look like a fucking crazy idiot. About as childish as somebody who's supposed to be a father. It's like damn near three times my age hopping on the internet to curse out and roast his son for attention. Like, why do you even have social media? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you crazy. You cr The moment I started YouTube, nigga, my mom got a call. 86 year ish. She was like, huh? 86. I don't want none of that on there. No Facebook. No nothing. No Instagram. No nothing. Nothing. I'm going to get you a book. In fact, I'm going to get you the Bible. <laughs> Now, my mom be buying me Bibles. I got to crack this new one that she just got me, right? It's all sealed and nice, right? I ain't want to mess it up. So it's over there. But I'm about to start reading the heck out of that. But anyway, man, what are you doing, right? Why are you trying to get into, like, Twitter beefs with your, with your kid? Like, what? That's crazy. Get kid. It's what you look like. And I have to go around town... Everywhere I go, and let me tell you something about going around town. I've been all over fucking town so this is for the last fucking month. I this go doesn't... places that I normally don't go, just hoping I could bump into my son and figure out what the fuck's going on in his head. Because he won't answer the goddamn phone. He won't answer a text. Apparently, somebody's put... You should stop looking for people that don't want to talk to you. I'm just saying. In his head, and he fucking believes it. God, crazy. I go everywhere in town. You know what I hear everywhere I go? Tractor supply that you go to all the time. I've been there a hundred times in the last month. Just hoping I bump into you. That's you know what weird. I hear from everybody around town? That is weird, Everybody. Bro. It's, oh my God, your son, what is going on with him? Has he lost his mind? Ronnie, he needs help. He's on dope. I mean, he's went crazy on the internet. Look at your numbers. Look at your fucking numbers. I just care about my son. Right? I just, I think he got to be on something. Look at your numbers. What? Why did that sound a little too spicy for me? Look at your numbers. Your number. Yo, dude, what? Getting on here to roast your, your son. For his numbers, not what? <laughs> He's killing it on tour right now. Why are you trying to bring him down? Yo, this is disgusting.
And I don't want to disrespect Upchurch's pops, man. That's why, like, I never really wanted to dive into his family stuff, right? But this loser going to post this damn video as if this is a cosign. No, this is disgusting. It, it really makes me feel empathetic for the stuff that Upchurch has to deal with on a regular basis, man. My, what my mom would never. My mom would never, nigga. You crazy? My cousins might, uh, they ain't shit. Psycho might. was a fan of yours. Now, I don't know all these people. I just start no, looking no, at the comments don't. you're getting. And a lot of people have just turned on you. And I mean, when you get on there and call your mama a bitch and a whore, I've done that a bunch. Me and her hate each other. And I've called her every name in the book. I remember. So, so what are you saying? There's clearly there's a pattern here. Maybe she's foul. Maybe she's not that good of a person for you to be sitting here and telling him not to defend himself. What? You shouldn't be doing this. I do it all the time. Remember the first time you called her a bitch when you was about 15 years old? What did I tell you? And back then, hell, all I wanted was her to die. To die. You called your mom a bitch and I told you you don't ever do that. You don't ever talk. You don't ever talk like that to her. I wanted her to die. Yo, this that's disgusting. This is for educational purposes. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm watching this for educational purposes. Man, I don't wish for anyone to pass away. This dude wishing for people to pass away by saying you can't talk to them a certain way. Shut up. That sounds crazy, bro. No wonder why he don't want to talk to you. You sound nuts. You son, fam, take this from me. Somebody who has cut off a plethora of family members, nigga. <laughs> all day. All day. I remember that recently, my mom had like a get together. Had a whole bunch of family members there, right? I, everyone knows there's a certain family member I don't rock with. They know. But my mom asked me, yo, please be nice. We're going to cook some food. Just come over. I was like, right, I'm going to say what's up to everybody in my mouth. I'm going to go in the back and hang out. Right. So I went there. Right. That this person, they stood up all happy to see me knowing damn well we ain't talk since they did that nasty ass thing. Right. So I made sure I said what's up to everyone in the room. I walked right past them, shook every hand, hugged everybody, gave them this. Oh, no, this. Give me that. Keep it pushing. It, it hurt his soul. Good. Because I don't fuck with you. You nasty bastard. I hope you watch. I hope you just click on it. Let me, let me see what he doing. Let me just check on good old beast. Let, let me see. I heard he killing it on YouTube. I didn't know he felt that way. How, nigga? How? You disgusted. My bad. Um. So yeah, take this from me. Sometimes, fam... Just because you blood don't mean you got to be associated all around someone, right? What's the quote? Like someone always says is like, blood is thicker than water, but that's actually a misinterpretation of the quote, right? Isn't it like the blood of the coven is thicker than the blood of the womb or something along those lines, right? Um, You pick your family, right? You pick your family. Now it could be family members and it could be people that you just rock with heavy, the fang gang is a part of my family. That's why I take people disrespecting them really seriously. Talk bad about your parents. They brought you into the world. They can take you out of it. That's the way I see it. I almost forgot he was saying dumb stuff and, over there. you know, to see you get on there, no matter what she might have did or didn't do, and for the record, I have so no idea what she's drugs. done. I can go online and like an intelligent person, and yeah, this no is what idea. I can see. I can see that she legally owns every f***ing house that you have. She owns Blue Moon Entertainment solely in her name. Everything has been bought through her name. And from what I understand, talking to some very powerful lawyers and one judge out here in Brentwood, is when you... 
put your money that apparently you're, you're trying to hide from somebody into somebody else's account, it legally becomes their money. That's disgusting. You can that's dump truckloads off disgusting. there every day. What type of, and that's this supposed to be your family. If you want me to hold something for you, then it's mine. I don't have to give it back. That's crazy. No, that's, you know, if I tell more on the whole $20 for me, I can go back whenever and get that damn 20. Right? If that's the case, that's, that's disgusting, bro. You trying to justify you trying to rob your son pretty much. Once it's in there, it's theirs. And people wonder why our church is ready to go to war. If they want to. And I'm going to tell you something. If you drug me through the mud like you've drug your mother, If I had legal rights to keep that shit, I would keep it from your ass until you fucking got your head out of your fucking ass. Because you definitely got your head up in your ass, Johnny Cash or Elvis, whichever one I'm talking to. I ain't trying to pause it too crazy. I don't want you guys to be able to hear what I say clearly when I answer this. Uh, somebody said, so is he saying that because he is his dad, he can take him out this world? That's exactly what he said. Um, and also, yeah, that's, that's so disgusting, man. If I was up church, I'm so petty. I would just take them to court constantly until all those, the money that you stole from me is used up and you got nothing. And then your number will still be blocked. You'll be blocked on all social media and then good luck. That's what it just, I'm petty like that. Right now, I'll hit him with the big business move. Okay, let's let's go to court. <laughs> well, I hope you got the lawyer money, right, for long, right? Because that's just that's nasty. What? Who do you think you are to be trying to hold someone's money from them? Like you trying to Britney Spears them? They trying to Britney Spears him? Wow. All right, my bad for pausing. I'll be pausing. See this video, what? and you're going to come back with some crazy ass rant. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to tell you, buddy. I love you till the day I die. You're my son. Remember, you started this shit. You went on Facebook and you try to make you everybody look like a fucking kid. idiot. You started it. At a it. girl's house. Who's already afraid to live where she's living because of the break-ins they've had? They sound like I won't shows. say any names because I'm sure this type of people don't want their name on the internet. But you went to one house. But you're talking and you about your said, son. Though. This is very interesting. Um, the cops this came. Filthy. Went to the door. This is so filthy. You know, ask him some questions. Guess who's the only person that I know that this person knows at this house? Ronnie Upchurch. Wow. Wow. This is going to be so great. It's going to be a Netflix movie. That my dad crazy. knew these people somewhere along the lines. Oh, my God. My dad's involved in this. My mom tried to sell this house. Well, you know, we own a real estate business, so we have access to stuff that the normal person don't. I looked at everything. So you the contracts on that house would sell. One a house. person owned that house for years and years and years. They sold the house to this young lady, who I used to work for her dad. He's one of the biggest builders in Springfield. I'm not trying to keep pausing it <laughs> to say he thought we well, tried to sell the house. We have a real estate company. We also looked into the property. I, I don't know how he would think he was selling the house. Could it, could it be that you not only have a real estate company, but you looked in to, to the property? Man, sometimes man, I feel like, like people like that just be making my head gray. It just remind me of Junior for my wife and kids. And her and her husband lived there pressure. with her kids. You show up in the middle of the day with Hillbilly. This is another house we just found. 
that was uh, in my name apparently and switched to someone else's name. And you act like you own this house or you think you do. I don't know where you got your information. You never owned the house. Patty never bought it or sold it. Patty Kennedy did. The oldest real estate agent in Ashland City. She bought and sold it. And the Doris family bought it. And I worked for her dad for about 20 years. Great Christian people. He's and you show up beating that. on the door, acting like you're going to evict somebody from their home. They don't know who you are. She never met you. And the only person that they know with your name is me. It's because I worked for her dad for 20 years. I just wonder what drugs were you on that day? Wow. Because you apparently were not thinking clearly. Wow. And you can backtrack and say, oh, well, we was just checking. Well, the f***ing videos. This is disgusting. I see what he's trying to do. They trying to Britney Spears up church. He wants to be in control of up church's money. You're, you're disgusting, bro. You're foul. Say something else. I mean, That's you're accusing foul. people of shit that had absolutely fucking nothing to do with that poor girl's house. You're the accusing people ish. I wonder what kind of drunk you was on there. You're accusing people of this. The guy that showed up was her dad. She called him first. He went straight there. They didn't this know who the fuck he was. He contacted Cheatham County Police. His dad, or his grandfather, was a sheriff of Springfield for 20, 30 years. They know people. And some of the stuff that was said by law enforcement in Cheatham County about you that day would blow your fucking mind away. You think everybody's your friend? Let me tell you something. 90% of the fucking people in Cheatham County right now think you've lost your fucking mind. And I'm absolutely on the same page. Okay, now that you've seen that, do you honestly believe that that drug addict is going to oh. get you anywhere near the truth in the Kylie Rodney case? Do you really think that harsh reality is supporting this guy because he truly believes that he's smart and he's going to get you the truth in the Kylie Rodney case? No. They're both clout chasers. Chris is a bigger clout chaser than Ryan, I think. And let's not forget, he was the first one to abandon all of you in the Kylie Rodney case and go do that Idaho 4 stuff because that's what was profitable. Abandon you. Let me remind people what a abandon slime ball you. this guy is. Over a year and a half ago when this whole case started crazy. and I was getting the most views and the most subscribers on the Kylie Rodney thing, everybody was coming to my channel. That's one of the reasons they hated me. But uh, Chris there, uh, narcissist, the cloud chaser Chris from Harsh Reality, just calls himself Harsh now, which is probably more accurate crazy. because nothing he says is reality. Um, he said for weeks, over a month, he said every day, we're gonna donate to Jeff's investigation, we're gonna support him. He said that to you guys, his fans and followers, every day. And he said, go tell Jeff in his comments that we're gonna donate, we're gonna support. And everybody was coming to me on my channel and going, Chris is rich, harsh reality guy's rich, he's- This guy, Oscar, hit the like button, guys. The stuff that I endure to entertain y'all is crazy. Show some love, hit the like button. And if you uh, want to show some extra love, sign up for Patreon for as low as a dollar or channel memberships. This guy is, is a nutbag. Straight gonna help nutbag. you. You guys are going to have money to do this. So this dude is okay. Wait. So he first he was bragging about all the views he was getting. Now he's mad because they didn't donate money to him. He just disgusting okay all of you wow. donated a dollar five dollars a couple dollars and we got up to like three grand and we used that to get background checks and a bunch of other stuff but harsh reality chris didn't donate one dollar ever 
He just kept telling you all that he was going to and telling you all to come to Jeff's channel and talk in the comments about harsh reality this, harsh reality that, so he could steal so he my subscribers. Money. And it So not only did you want money from this person, they stole your subs. That's that's not how that works. That's first of all, these are people, these are actually humans. They're not just like a, I guess, a basketball or something. They just be stolen or a car. And they're not an object. You don't own them. They could subscribe to both if they wanted to or anyone, right? But stole my subscribers sounds crazy, bro. This dude is a true nutbag. Reality this, harsh reality that. So he could steal my subscribers. And it was working for him. And he didn't have to spend a dime to do it. And he never supported anything. He's just a big mouth liar. Man, I wish I could show y'all how dirty this nigga outfit look without... Can I... Without showing his name? Let me show you how dirty this nigga... Yo, fam. I did somebody tell me this nigga ain't dusty. Let's take a quick look. I'm about to roast the hell out of this boy. I'm about to roast the hell out of you. I just don't want you to get no clout. Look how dirty this hoodie is, nigga. Look how you rolled in a bunch of cat hair, fam. You nasty. Deadpool. No, 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 sir. No, sir. Dead smell. It's probably what it's smelling like. You ain't washed that hoodie in forever, right? And people talk about my hoodies. My hoodie ain't never been dusty like this. Not one time. I ain't never. I ain't never. Come on here with my dream looking like this. You ever heard of a lint brush? You ever heard of a brush? All right? I know you never heard of a beard because your drink don't grow like that. It look like the same hair from your beard is on your hoodie. And what is up with the shades, homie? What are you, the Terminator nigga? You trying to be the robot from part two? Uh, I bet you run like him. Look like Jim Carrey on crack, man. What is wrong with you? Close your mouth, nigga. <laughs> I can see you overbite. Wait, where are you even at? Is this nigga homeless? Why are homeless people just sitting here trying to do videos, nigga? This joint look ass. Fam, get you a place to stay, or at least bare minimum. Find a laundromat with that dusty, disgusting. Look at the, yo, fam. Come on, my nigga. Fam. 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 Come on, bro. Bro, this this dude is filthy. This nigga is that's yo the hoodie ain't even got his strings. <laughs> he took the strings in the hoodie. Look at the collar, fam. Look at how worn out this dusty collar is. This nigga turned his drink into Under Armour. How your how the hell your hoodie turn into Under Armour? Do you train police dogs on weekends? That's what this look. This look like you train police dogs on the weekend. This look like, like you travel via the, the monster that Avatar used to ride, <laughs> the last Airbender. It should look like you hug the monster from a, uh, what was the name of that damn book? The Never Ending Story. That's what it looked like. This drink look. Crazy. Dusty bastard. My bad. I had to cook for like two seconds. My bad, my bad. Lying sack of shit. Just like Ryan Upchurch. And that's why he abandoned all of you when it wasn't profitable anymore. And that's why his channel grew bigger than mine. Because I chose to... Y'all say he from Canada? I ain't never see someone in Degrassi that dusty. I ain't not one time was anyone in Degrassi dusty like that, nigga. Not one. Stick to my guns and do what I do, and I've never cared about that number box that says how many people are attached to my channel. I already proved to you guys subscribers mean nothing, and that's why Ryan Upchurch is panicking and reaching out for help. 
because 3.4 million of his 3.5 million subscribers do not watch his videos and I proved that. I also proved that I get sometimes five times as many views as I do subscribe as I have subscribers. So, you know, whether you're talking about harsh about, reality or man, he does Ryan not Upshurst, care about Kali the drug addict. This is crazy. Don't mean it. This is crazy. Yo, I hope no one ever takes him seriously, right? I hope no one, not a soul takes him seriously. Fam, what? This is who you got covering true crime. He's a prime example of everything Upchurch is saying about a lot of these nasty true crime content creators. Look at him. Look at him. Numbers, numbers, numbers. You stole my subscribers. Numbers. Numbers, numbers. You promised to donate money and you did it. Yo, this is disgusting. Anything. This is disgusting. Okay, and now you're starting to see what a backstabbing narcissist Ryan Upchurch is. I showed you guys the screenshot of him taunting me on my channel saying, oh, you can't beat me up and stuff, but he's such a chicken shit, he won't answer my call out on his channel. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna knock him out cold. I'm not afraid of Upchurch. He has no idea how hard I used to work on my martial arts skills. I'm totally glad to knock him out and put it on YouTube and ruin his entire And first of all, you need to clarify that, right? Because that's, that's against guidelines. Threatening someone to that degree is against guidelines. Clarify, right? do you mean in a boxing match? Because if you're just talking about fisticuffs, you shouldn't be breaking YouTube guidelines like that. That's just nasty and risky, right? Also, nigga, it looked like you can't punch your way out of a wet paper bag, my man. Like, you look soft. Look, so you can't even do laundry, right? I don't expect you to be able to throw a punch at all. And it looked like you 70 with a toupee on. How about this? How about this? Uh, since you're so view hungry and money hungry, right? And everyone is afraid to actually set up a YouTube box and match with me. Get the money up. Ah, lace your shit. Get the get the money up. Get someone off me a contract for any kind of payment, and then go off the couch with a sandwich in my hand. Then what? And a YouTube box and match sandwich in my hand. Ah, uh, light work, nigga. Light work, nigga, and I'm put in my contract. You gotta pay for the sandwich, but that, I know that's not gonna be possible because you don't have a house. It looks like you look like you live in a tree, nigga. It looks like you actually live in a tree. Career and up charges out here killing it on tour. You think he got time to box your lose ass? You crazy? But if somebody make it worth my while. I'm telling you, but I don't fight for free. But somebody do a YouTube boxing match and we both consent? I'm not worried about it at all. He's the one that's worried and he's the one that's scared of me. He's literally so scared of me that he won't even answer you folks on his channel when I ask Ryan Upchurch, are you going to fight me? Are we going to meet up? Because I'm going to knock Ryan Upchurch out for... Yeah, he's wildin'. Also, you just see him complain. He didn't, when I asked him, why didn't he go on his channel and address me? It's because he don't want to give you clout, you loser. What's wrong with you? Kylie's friends and family. Thank for attention. And Harsh Reality can go ahead and report on it if he wants to, because the video is going to be on YouTube. Okay? Ryan Upchurch is nothing but a big chicken shit who has no substance. You see, people look up to him like he's a star because he's got a lot of money and he's got a lot of subscribers. So they look up to him like he's a music star, like he's a big person. You see, I don't see him that way. I see him as a very small, very small little man who has no substance and nothing to offer Hold on, anyone. Let me address that too. At all. Because people have been spamming that in my inbox. I'm not going to say the person's name because I don't have any hate or this thing, especially because I've seen that they got love for the Lord and y'all know how I feel about Jesus, right? Shout outs to my man, Jesus, man. That's my my guy. You know what I mean? My Lord and Savior. But I've seen someone who is asking 
like desperately to reach out to Upchurch and people are going as far as to like inbox it to me as if I'm going to be able to get the video of this person asking to work with Upchurch. That that sounds crazy, guys. That's not how that works. That's, first of all, I ain't the Upchurch hotline. I'm not passing no messages along. That just, that sounds wild. Also, if you have all this information and you want to get it out there, I don't think that saying like, yo, can you please contact me, please? I, let's work together. That's not a good way to handle that. You should just do it. Just put it up. I was highly disappointed. Like I went and watched the video and was like, okay, wh where's the video essays or just the full breakdowns on everything that you want to even tell him? Why don't you have it all in one video put together like in a nice way, like packaged up to not only present to him, but to the world? Alarms ring whenever I see things like this, but I do want to state I have no hated this thing for this person. I'm not even insinuating anything about this person. Once again, I've seen that they got love for the Lord, so I'm going to just give them benefit of doubt. But that's the wrong way to approach it. And I see a lot of people like trying to help get the word. I don't. I don't think that's how that happens, especially due to the fact that have you seen the like the the way that Upchurch is so on point with this, bro. He on point. He probably seen the video already. He's on point when it comes to this internet stuff, man. Right? He active. Right? So, yeah, I don't think that the way she's approaching it is the correct way to approach it. But I would love to hear what she has to say. Put it in a video. Right? Or do a live stream where you talk about everything. But, uh, like, I don't think that's the right way to do it. Um, if you want to reach out, send him a message via inbox, you know, um, and then if you can't reach out like that, just put the content out. If it's good content, right, as far as like you really took your time, put it together well, and you got this information that you think is extremely important, why would you wait on it? Put it out now. Take the time, edit it, all of that stuff. Put it out. Right. So I just wanted to address that because that was another one that people kept inboxing me. And I don't have any hate for this person at all. I don't want it to be misconstrued as that, like I'm hateful and telling them. Rah, rah. I just think that their approach seemed wrong um, in a sense of just do it. Put it out, man. Put out the, the stuff, man. If you have this information, I was looking for it. Like, I would love to hear it. Where's the information? Why are you not just putting it out? Right. If you want someone to see it, but that's just maybe that's my thoughts. All right. Maybe I'm tripping. Right, but I did see a lot of people um, spreading that. I just don't think that's the, the right approach. Um, I don't think it's the right approach. just a really mouthy asshole. He doesn't have any skills that I have. Also, he can't play to this person. Guys, instead of sending me that video, tell them to send me the information. I love that. How about that? That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> direct me to the information that she's trying to get out there. That would be better than a video asking how to contact Upchurch or anyone, right? I'm not the person that's able to do that. Um, I don't think people are aware of that, right? Um, and still, I'm not saying that with any malice. I just, I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure I would even do that in the first place. Like pass along a message that just message them. <laughs> or do the video. I told you guys, Upchurch is active. He on it, man. He on it. Even though he's on tour right now too as well. That's another reason why he might not be able to get back to you like that quick is because he's like busy on a whole tour currently. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to address that while people were asking about it in the chat. But once again, oh, he did a freeze. I was about to say, oh man, my heart almost stopped. Yeah, man. Then my computer froze. Play any instruments. He's not a real musician. And when I said that, a lot of people were like, I didn't know Upchurch couldn't play guitar. I didn't know he couldn't play guitar either because he poses with guitars in his fake plastic world. He has his friends write and record and perform his songs for him. He doesn't write anything. So when I look at Ryan Upchurch, his money doesn't yeah, he mean his name in it. His subscriber his numbers mean nothing to me. I know that he doesn't get most of his subscribers to even watch his own crap okay this is all he talks numbers, about numbers on youtube bro. mean nothing i'm gonna show See, you what, what you i put up with about? every single day from ryan up church and harsh reality and these idiots 
that brainwash stupid people to say horrible, stupid things. You guys wonder why I'm so harsh on certain people and I say horrible harsh. things about them. You don't realize that they've Ugh. been doing it to me for a very long them? time behind the scenes and they're just too much of a yeah, chicken to trembling. do it in public. But I do it in public. I let everybody know what's going on and I stay transparent. And that's what makes me who I am and I don't care about the numbers, okay? So their numbers mean nothing to me and they never will. What you have going on right now with Harsh Reality and Ryan Upchurch is the class clown, Ryan Upchurch, is really good at getting attention. That's how he gets famous. That's how he gets rich. That's how he gets people to buy his merch. He's what the are class you even clown. Talking about? He has no substance. He's a weak little man with nothing to offer but class clown stuff. Like he's twelve. Yeah, he's and then the you have you harsh mean. reality. He's the clown too. But you see, when one clown isn't getting the reaction they're expecting, they team up together. And that's what narcissists do. And that's exactly why Squirrel Girl needed to team up with 20 channels to try to take me down. And all of them failed. In fact, oh, most no, of no. them have dried up and disappeared about? because they couldn't stay in it. They couldn't handle the truth and they couldn't handle reality. So they gave up. Those of you that are watching me for the first time, you don't understand what I'm doing and you're not going to understand what I'm doing until you watch some of my videos. If you want to judge me, go right ahead. That's fine. But I would urge you to do it with some knowledge in your head and, you know, the facts. So like please can, go guys. to my homepage and watch the playlist, a couple videos there called Kylie Rodney Truth Bombs. And under that, uh, there's a few more videos in a playlist up. called but this promotion is that's all he's trying to do the real deal on the Kylie Rodney case clout. you need to take the time to watch some stuff stuff that I've already done stuff I've already worked on stuff I'm already in the motion of completing okay so go get your information first and then judge me and then judge Ryan Upchurch and judge Chris from harsh reality okay go ahead make your choice make an educated choice by going to my homepage and watching those videos first. Do that before you develop your opinion about me and who is gonna get you across the finish line in this battle for truth. Some of you that are my diehard fans scratch your heads and wonder why is J But sometimes yeah, he just fans, puts everything down and goes full throttle on somebody and is even just a little bit arrogant and mean toward them. I have to use certain tactics in psychological war this dude is that delusional. you might not understand. Maybe you're starting to see it now that you've seen some of the slime balls that attack me every day. He and is you'll understand delusional. why I have to speak harshly against certain people. Wow. And now you can see what kind of people follow them. Let me ask you guys this, my subscribers. Hey, up, have any one of you gone to Ryan Upchurch's channel or, or Harsh Realities and started typing, you need a shower. You look gross and creepy. Have any of you done that? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say zero of my subscribers have done that to either of them. Why do I know that? Because you're the intelligent crowd yeah. and you don't talk like you're 12 and you can see and think mad as with your minds clear enough to see He's the bullshit. Mad as hell, so most bro. of you that come to my channel and stay He's bad because people would tell him he looked like he stank. And I agree, fam. Watch that hoodie. People talking about my fly ass hoodies. My dreams is fly. Strike a pose. Mm. Zoolander. One more time. Mm. Hurt my neck. Hurt my neck. You know, you know, can't Zoolander like I used to. Used to be able to Zoolander all day, my bad. My bad. I digress. But yeah, what is he talking about? Whole bunch of bull crap. Also, guys, don't say this loser's name, man. We're not trying to promote him. I don't want to get him shared or any kind of boost in engagement. In fact, he's talking about how he's like number one to getting all these views and like how he's growing in subs. I just checked. That is a lie. This nigga is losing hundreds of subs on a daily basis because he's ass. That's just facts. But it is what it is. Stick around. Know that I'm not stupid. 
Yeah, you are. I might have to play games with people and play stupid sometimes. Nah, you stupid. But that's part of the game. Okay? And when people are saying, oh, you're taking sides, you're backing up this person, you're protecting somebody, you're siding with the corrupt police. No. No, I'm not siding with anybody, and I want you to stop siding with anybody. I want you to do what I'm doing, and that's become 100% neutral. Nobody's being accused of anything. Innocent until proven guilty. You're, Would you you're agree? You're not neutral. Okay. You're you not neutral, especially if you're saying that you're going to war with Upchurch, and you're not because you're like a like a speck of dust, right? It's like a fly trying to go to war with like the like a lion. That's crazy, and it doesn't add up. Innocent until proven guilty. The facts are going to spell out the story for us. The evidence and the facts only. And everything else is made up by people like Ryan Upchurch and Chris from Harsh Reality. Notice they're pushing the conspiracies and the spin away from truth again. Do you it's want like them to do it to you can. guys for another year and a half for profits while they get you further and further away from the truth, either on purpose or just because they don't give a sh if you get the truth or not. They don't care because they don't know what it is. They don't know what they're talking about. So they're so clueless that they would rather just keep saying whatever as long as it gets your attention because they want your attention. They want to make sure you're watching them and them only. And when they realize that I make them look stupid with facts and evidence, they want you to stop watching me. And that's why they're ganging up again, just like Squirrel Girl did. But remember what happened to Squirrel Girl? Remember she was on Facebook saying, I'm never going to quit until Jeff's off YouTube. And she had 20 channels against me. They were ganging up like Ryan's doing now. Same move. Same. Like Ryan's doing now. He ain't thinking about you, fool. What's wrong with this guy, man? Yo, it's always these weird, obsessed losers that just swear that they're on your mind. No, I'm not going to remember your name after I finish looking at this now. I promise you, I, I will not. You won't be a thug. Yes, me laughing at whatever that is on top of your head, look like a toupee. That would be funny, but I won't remember you. Predictable maneuvers. Nasty hoodie. Why? Because they're so weak on their own, they can't get the job done. And I promise you, no matter how many they gang up with, they're all just going to end their own careers. You see, Ryan Upchurch fell into my trap. Now he's looking like an idiot again, talking about me without saying my name. These are all things I predicted he would do, and you can go see it on my community page. In fact, I urge you to go to my community page because I got a lot of cool stuff there that you get to see reality, learn truth. I even Yo, have a where did he go to, to the school of Tom McDonald for promotion? This is some straight out of the Tom McDonald handbook poll going right now for a little bit of fun with Ryan Upchurch. It's how many lines of cocaine did Ryan Upchurch snort before he did his original Kylie doesn't exist. Guys, I have to say, after that post has been up all day, y'all yeah, can't see the screen. I'm looking at it. Whoa. It got, it got some votes, man. A whole 20. <laughs> Yo. Stop the presses. <laughs> oh, this dude is crazy. Radio. And there's four four it's options crazy. there. It looks like the public have spoken. I thought it was going to be three lines of cocaine, but apparently spoken. everybody is pretty sure it's four lines of cocaine that Ryan Upchurch did. So here's a screenshot of that just so you can see it. But I got, that's just for that's fun. Crazy. That's just for fun. Because I have to have fun too. And I have to play with these idiots because when I play Balls. with them and say things to them that, that they don't so like, scary. it makes them snap like alligators. Just like Ryan Upchurch did. He just lost his mind. Look at the guy. He's losing his mind over me. He's on my channel every day, typing away. A you know, he posted a screenshot of a video of Upchurch talking about Kylie Rodney case. The screenshot is from 40 minutes after it was posted. Yo, these dudes, you a loser, bro. You a straight about, loser. You know, how he's the greatest. 
He's a full-blown narcissist. I predicted all his moves. All my OG subscribers are laughing because they know this is true because they've been on my community page watching me predict what Ryan Uptrich was going to do all week long. You see, I played him. And then he he fell into my trap. Up. He's a really stupid, gullible person. <laughs> that and that's why Jerry... He's a narcissist. I predicted all his moves. I got everything. I'm the smartest person alive. Everything is done by me. He's a narcissist. First of all, if you're not a doctor and you're not his doctor, you can't diagnose him or just put that label of narcissism on him. But I, I'm sick of the internet for that reason, man. Like, it's annoying. It's annoying because you looked at like a, like a video that said a list of things to look out for. So that must mean everyone's a narcissist. Jared Lysak and Doug Bishop were so, yeah, able to stupid. play him like a fiddle because he's really gullible and he really has no clue what he's talking about and he's really good at talking out his ass and getting people's attention. So they used him to get people excited about the case and it worked. And now him, Ryan Upchurch, and Chris, the narcissistic clout chaser are trying to team up together to reestablish that excitement but they're going to do it toward the conspiracy nonsense and take you further and further away from the truth just like they've been doing for the last couple days and if you saw ryan's video you know what he's doing you know what he's doing but i'll save you the trouble of watching a trashy ryan upchurch video i don't even need to see Wow. the video to know what he's saying about me. I can just go look at their stupid troll comments and I see the patterns. Like every one of them was calling me creepy or a creeper. So obviously I don't- So e you didn't even watch the video. You clicked on it, screenshotted it and read the comments. You a bitch. Man, if you're not gonna watch it, don't pay attention to it. Don't even comment, don't screenshot. This dude's a loser. You need to watch dumbass Ryan Upchurch's like video to know that he called me some sort of a creepy person. See, I don't need to watch their garbage to know what they're saying. They're predictable. They're pathetic. They're very small people. Money, subscribers, means nothing. Ryan Upchurch is a very small man to me. You just begged okay? Everybody looks up to him as some money sort of and bragged about self, celebrity. But to me, he's not a celebrity. He's just a really dumb guy that has a big mouth. So Ryan fell into my trap, and now Ryan is stuck. You see, Ryan's made it public my now, trap. and Ryan has, without saying my name in the title, as I predicted, I said he's going to make a video about me, and he won't put my name in the title because he's too chicken to no. say my name. He does not have the balls. It's not about being chicken. He, why would he want to promote you, you loser? Why would he want to do that and save your dying ass career? Why would he want to do that? People are crazy. I know what it is when someone's actually afraid. Trust me. A lot of these YouTubers are genuinely afraid of me. <laughs> when they will say my name, but they'll run from a debate for years. They terrify. I pop up on a stream that they're supposed to be in. They don't show up. They coincidentally come in the next day to say my name he's afraid of me and i'll tell you this too remember when uh redneck nation had said something behind his back about getting him with bots or whatever and he was posting that on his own channel and everybody else was and he was crying like a baby when when look at what they said about me gaga goo goo remember when yeah, ryan Church was crying like that like a baby yeah, so he might want to look at his arrest record holy smokes what if it's someone in as nasty in disgust and fam. That's crazy. Well, have you guys noticed that I've said way worse things than that? And I've said flat out that I'm going to end Ryan Upchurch's career and knock him out and put the video on YouTube. Why isn't he crying like a baby right now on his channel trying to get sympathy from all of you? You know why? Because he's actually afraid of me. And he knows if he says anything about the fight, it's locked in. You see, I put him in a position now where Ryan Upchurch just screwed himself. Now he's been publicly talking about me. I showed you guys the screenshots of him talking big on my channel. He thinks he's, you know, Mr. You know, Tough Guy when he comes and says something on- Let me see, what are you selling your channel, man? Okay, he told you, my bad, I had to read it. I was reading the, the title. Of church commented, you can't knock me out, you scrawny ass MF. 
He's right, though. <laughs> Up Church is right. He didn't lie. You mad? Because wait a minute. Yo, he posted commenting it on my page as if Upchurch is just trying to bully you when the title of the video is about you trying to beat up Upchurch. Yo, these dudes is cartoon characters, I swear. I don't know how Upchurch deals with this ish, bro. I don't on know my how. video, but he won't say it on his channel because he's a chicken shit and he's afraid of me. You see, now he's in a position where everybody's going to call him out. He is a chicken sh**. He is afraid of me. That's a, he's he like, is he? stupid. He oh, is a no. gullible drug addict. That's true. That's I just crazy. played him like a fiddle all week long, and now I'm saying it again. I'm going to knock Ryan Upchurch out cold for Kylie's family and her friends. And now Ryan Upchurch has to answer to all of you, no, everybody, including his own friends that thinks he's a pussy right now. No, you don't. Ryan Upchurch, are you going to no, fight not. you back to Jeff? Are you going to shut up? Do it. And I will put the video on YouTube and it will end his career. He will be laughed at. It will go viral. It will end his career. He knows it. And he knows that there's a really good chance. I am going to knock him you out cold. Be able to post that, and he's bro. afraid of me. And he's afraid to what say my you? name and lock it in on his channel and say, I'm going to fight you back. All right, that's enough, man. If you just keep if you say my name, say my name. Yo, get to the, the point, man. Is it just more crying? Because I'm done. I swear, I can't by you guys and that's why you guys never see the fights you never see the bull crap you never see what sick twisted narcissistic selfish pricks these people are and how they attack me constantly and i try to keep my game face on but sometimes i gotta put what i'm doing They're down and knock them out of business like i did to squirrel girl like i did to all her friends like i did to kevin Slees. and now unfortunately i have to do okay. it to ryan upchurch okay. because okay. I i'm done i'm done I'm done. Yeah, I, I can't. Okay. Yeah, this nigga, he's, he's, he's going to talk for 30 more minutes, guys. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Because he ain't going to say nothing else but just say my name, promote me. I <laughs> believe that shit. If he said any part of the day, I'll believe it. I would not upload it. But yeah, fam, this, this dude's a loser. He's a cloud chasing asshole. Right, I would never take anybody like him seriously. If he started doing videos on me, he's probably gonna slander me and just make up whatever he could probably find. Right, just uh, just throw it to the wall and see what sticks. Do I have any evidence to prove? No, I don't take anyone like this seriously. He's a clown, right? And I definitely don't think Upchurch is taking him seriously. But tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.